So Victoria Rose travels the world and instead of getting souvenirs, she gets a tattoo in every country she visits. She got her first at 20 and she hasn't looked back. She's now got 60, despite a little bit of judgment from her con conservative family. What started out as a little collection has now turned into a career and she has over 1 million TikTok followers and calls herself a cyberpunk nomad. She's not going to stop the tats even though she's running out of room on her body. So let's meet her. Hello, Victoria. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Can, I'm good. How I can see some of your tattoos. You get like a different... Every time you go to a country, you get a new tattoo. Yeah. Have you been to Scotland? No, I want to go to Scotland. Right, you want to go to Scotland and get yes. a tattoo. Just make sure they use a fresh needle in Scotland. Uh, um, <laughs> but yeah, so some of, some of your tattoos, you've got a leopard print on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Is that a zebra print on the other Yeah, I really shoulder? love animals. Right. Lot, yeah. And were they, were they in Africa? Were they actually in... I wish. I haven't been to Africa yet. I'd really like to get some tattoos in Africa. So there's, there's a lot of places I still need to go. Whereabouts? Where, where did you get your first tattoo? Uh, America. A lot of them are in America. But right. But recently, the last few years, I've been traveling the world. I'm like, hmm, I guess I'll just get a tattoo. And then it just became a thing. Right, yeah. And what, what's your favorite place that you've visited so far? Mm, I don't have favorites. My favorite tattoo place was Seoul. That was my most recent place. In Korea. Yeah, because they Korea. do really good tattoo work, even though it's like technically a little illegal, but they do really, really good work there. Right, yeah. And, and your favourite place to, to visit regardless of uh, tattoos? England. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do want to move here. Why but... is that funny? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not. I do want to move here. but You want to move to England? You've been to, you've been to South Korea, you've been to America... <laughs> You'd be like, no, I, I want more rain. It's very central here. Like, you can get anywhere from, from London anyways. So. so the good thing about the UK is that you can get out of the UK. Exactly. Is that what you're saying? It's also good, like, to get from New York to here as well. But it's gotten really expensive here, so. Yeah, it has, because of the cost of living crisis. And uh, so you're, are you from New York? I am from a farm in Pennsylvania. All right. So. Are you Amish? I could have been. I grew up around a lot of Amish. No way! That would be a good story if I was, but no. I know a lot about the Amish, but I'm not Amish. You're not Amish, no. but, but you, you grew up around I know Amish. about farm things. And, uh, well, that, that could, if you ever moved to Scotland, that could uh, do you in good stead. You get a job very easily driving a plough. But, um, but, I mean, so your, your family back home in Pennsylvania are quite conservative. Do you feel any judgment when you... No, I mean, my mom doesn't really like tattoos. I don't, I don't know if my dad cares or not, but... My family, we're all kind of weird, so it's fine. Um, no one really judged me, I don't think. But older people, I guess, maybe. I don't know. I don't ask. <laughs> I don't ask. So. And you, you call yourself a cyberpunk uh, nomad. What does that mean? Because I always thought a nomad was a female gnome. And I thought you were going to come in with like a fishing rod. Oh, and a, you're wrong. Hat. Yeah, maybe it's a Scottish thing. No, like a uh, nomad is just someone like, well, for me, I don't really have a home. Right. So I just travel around all the time. And cyberpunk, because I just love cyberpunk, like futuristic robots, high tech, low life type of thing. I just, I like to go to each country and find a little cyberpunk place because every city has cyberpunk. It's right. The, it's the future, kind of. So there's a cyberpunk community in every... It's very small. Uh, it's not in like every city, but I try to find it in most cities. And, and what is uh, cyberpunk? So it's, it's futuristic you know, Well, you know like robot... Black Mirror. Like what? Black Mirror. All right, yeah, yeah. Like Blade the... Runner... Ghost yeah. in the Shell, stuff like that. That's all like futuristic cyberpunk. It's like yeah. really high tech, but it's almost like dystopian as well. Right. But it could be a potential reality and maybe it will be soon. And so what do you do when you're um, sort of with cyberpunk? Well, I do a lot of uh, creative stuff. So I do a lot of editing and stuff and filming, um, camera stuff, uh, photo shoots, stuff like that. That's like the aesthetic is all cyberpunk based. Yeah. That's my favorite thing. And how did your uh, social media, you, you've got a million uh, TikTok followers, mm. which is which is loads. Um, how did that how did that start taking off? I've done social media for a really long time. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's gradually grown up to this. I don't know when it, there wasn't a point where it was just like, but yeah, I guess when I've been like the traveling and getting better at editing, it got bigger. Right. Yeah. And have, have you, uh, do you make a, a living off your, your social yeah, media followers? Yeah, it's, my, it's a very small living. Definitely not enough to afford London. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just, you wing it and then see if it works or not. Right, yeah. But yeah, that's my job. So I've got, I've got like uh, under 30,000 on Twitter. Can I, can I quit my job yet? And if you want to. And just go full-time Twitter person? Do I have to get... I don't know about time? Twitter. I don't know anything about Twitter. Right. It's sort of like, it's like a, a sort of um, angry pub brawl. 
Yeah, I've never really gotten into it. Do hmm. you have twi- uh, uh, TikTok? I do have TikTok, but I only put about six videos up. One of them, one of them got like half a million views or something. Oh, well just, done. But I don't, um, I, I don't feel. I feel like I'm too old. No for TikTok. I feel no, like no, 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 no. TikTok's no? for everyone. Is it? For, <laughs> is there's it? so there's like so many different people on TikTok. Like you, you could even do like a little behind the scenes of whatever you do, and people like that. Right. Like there's lawyers, doctors. News anchors, I'm sure. Right. Doctors showing you sort of uh, behind the scenes of... I don't uh, know if they... I, open I don't know. heart surgery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, some of them, like, show a lot of stuff, so... This is what we do with the hearts. There's, like a, niche, there's like, a niche on TikTok for everything. Yeah. It's gotten so big. And do you, do you have any uh, TikTok accounts that you, you follow? Do you, do you enjoy sort of looking at it as well as... Um, I content? follow, like, my friends. Um, stuff that inspires me, I guess. I don't follow a ton of people just because it gets overwhelming, but, Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. And editing. So you do uh, editing of other people's videos? No, just my own. Just your own? That's a lot of work. I do like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube as well. Right. Like YouTube's my main source of income. But um, yeah, it's a lot of editing. Right, yeah. And these videos are about your travels and your tattoos. Yeah, traveling and tattoos and stuff. Like and what, what are your favorite couple of tattoos? I mean, I can see uh, there's, a, there's some sort of well, I don't want to throw my leg up on the counter there's... or anything. But uh, my... Yeah, you can, you can throw can... your leg up on the counter. Okay. That's... Can you see that? We're insured. Uh, yeah, what, what the the lizard? One. Oh, the dragon! That's oh my, my most god! Re- yeah, it's my most recent one. Yeah, keep it up. We're gonna so that dragon. Uh, you can tilt tilt it around. So that looks. Is that Chinese? What does it mean? It's Korean. It's and Korean. Not my tattoos don't really have meaning, but it was <laughs> very painful. It was very painful. Yeah, it's because like it's right on the shin. Yeah, but it's also the co- like for tattoos. Certain colors are more painful than others. Right. Oh god, that one killed me. Right. That's my favorite right now because it's my newest one. You can put it down now if you like. <laughs> it's, it's refreshing to see somebody uh, admit that their tattoos have no meaning. Because normally... I, mean, <laughs> not, like, I don't take it... Like the day before I think of the idea, I'm like, okay, that sounds good. And then, and then the next day I get it. Right. It's just like life's not that serious. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's great to hear because so many times, you know, my friends come back from Thailand or whatever and they've got like uh, a symbol on their <laughs> leg and they're like, oh, this is so meaningful to me. This, well, it, some there was a would... full moon and, uh, you know, and it means peace or something. And you know for a fact like, it means chicken soup and some, chi- yeah, some Thai guy is just making fun of them. Yeah, I mean, for me personally, it's just decoration. Yeah. I just like to be creative and express. But um, I'm not, I, don't, I don't take it too seriously, especially after you get a lot. People with minimal tattoos, they want to have a lot of meaning for like, their, the little ones that they have. So. And do you, do you think tattoos are, uh, are still quite taboo? Because I know when I, when I was growing up, tattoos uh, were, the only people who had them were like um, guys in prison who'd, who'd punch your face in and Motley Crue. And the, there wasn't the sort of, you know, you'd never get served a coffee by somebody with a tattoo. And now tattoos are, are everywhere. Do you think yeah. there is still a sort of tattoo, a bit of an, a, a taboo, I mean? I mean, in Western culture, not as much. But yes, of course, there still is. Um, when I travel, you know, like, Korea, Japan, places like that, it's still very taboo. And a lot of people, you know, like for Japan, for example, it's associated with the Yakuza. I'm not allowed to go into the gyms um, or the um, bathhouses because, unless I have my tattoos all covered up, which is very difficult to do. How do you do that? Yeah, I went to the gym and like I had to wear a turtleneck. And then the, the lady, she's like, nope. Um, so she she like covered up because they're on your hand. Yeah, she well. taped my <laughs> she taped she my taped feet. your fingers up. Yeah, so it's, it's still a little you extreme. Just swaddled in like an Egyptian mummy. <laughs> yeah, and I'm trying to work out. I'm like, it was frustrating. I could find one gym that allowed like uh, tattooed people, but yeah. So yeah, a little, little lesson there. If you're uh, if you're going to Japan and you want to work out in a gym, don't have lots of tattoos. 